both of us. Can I have a word? Me up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thing. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams, I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy? Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. He, he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery. are going to see this. What you say? Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh, 
You know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. Stop it, psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! You are just perfect, crazy cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Very oh, God, of a no. misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Is that supposed to impress me? Look out! This is ridiculous! I'm calling a drunk test! <laughs> Just think of all the angry revenge sex! You got this! I 
Woo! I win! Why? Me. Come on, what? You asshole! Extra work! Serious black cloud in my day, man. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect's on site. Drill the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it.
cracking. Hey, you got him? Be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Now your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Uh, well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? How's it going for you? Hey! Honey, I dressed you found this brick? Everything in bed, just like the porn. Not yet. Still cheap. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stuff. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! He's out of the car! I get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need help! I'm the victim! Don't kill me for love of- Run, you little bastard! All the way out of... See me at the club tomorrow. That car rules! Hey! Love your ride, huh? That's a you got. Fucked up. Oh my god! What happened, Daddy? Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. He never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up. Baby, it's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy! Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Hills. All right, brother, here we are.
Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> Okay, okay, the airport. Producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
Tony, but there's nothing between us. Yeah. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. 
Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously.